Gianna Palencia and welcome to my channel. Today I have this Alicia Keys inspired hair tutorial here. I want to know your favorite Alicia Keys song so comment down below your favorite. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to get this look here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you like tutorials like this. I usually do like wash and go videos and like not many style videos. So if you like this, give me a like and also let me know in the comments. So I cleanse with the cream of nature um, sulfate free shampoo and I condition and detangle with my Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle. Brush my hair with my Denman brush and then put my hair into these braids. So um, I'm going to take these out. So after taking them on braids, the next thing that I'm going to do is section off the two sections. So the first section is where we're going to do the parts and then the back section is where we're going to do the braids. So I separated the two sections and I also went ahead and parted these two sections here where I'm going to have the two braids. So I have four sections total. So now I'm going to section off this part as well because I find it easier to work with one section at a time and have all of the rest of the hair completely away. So now I have this section here and I'm going to add a little bit more of the Jane Carter Frizz Free Styling Smoothie. And then next, I'm going to add a little bit of my Eco Styler Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. So Alicia Keys has three vertical sections here, so I'm just going to section off my hair. So again, I'm just going, once I get a section, I'm just going to place it out of the way. So now I've parted the three sections here. And so the next thing that I'm going to do after creating these three vertical parts are to create three horizontal parts. So I'm just going to section this out the way. So now that I created this first part, I'm going to take a little bit more gel to smooth it down. And actually guys, I'm going to switch Eco Styles because I realized that this one is giving me a lot of flicks right now. So I switched to my all time favorite Eco Styler, the Super Protein Eco Styler. And I don't know if you guys can see, but look how many flakes I'm getting with that gel. There's no bueno. So I'm just going to smooth the top with a toothbrush. And then, next I'm going to take a rubber band. And then next, I'm going to place this out of the way. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the next section. So part my hair straight across. And then section off the area I'm not working with. Then I'm gonna add some Eco Styler or gel or edge control. Smooth that with a toothbrush. Take this section of hair and then rubber band around that. I'm gonna take that last section and add some Eco Styler, brush it out. And you can also use a comb too. And then put a rubber band. And as you see, you'll have three horizontal sections here. So once I'm done that, I'm going to take these gold hair accessories here and put it around where the rubber band goes. So I'm going to roll it and then once I get to the next section where the rubber band is, I'm going to combine it. So once I have combined those two sections together, I'm going to take another gold hair accessory and wrap it around 
And once I get exactly where I want it, I'm going to squeeze it together. And then next, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So roll, 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 roll. And then once I get to that bottom piece, I'm going to combine it with that hair. Put the gold hair accessory around, the rubber band, and then squeeze it together. And voila! So I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other section. done this is what it looks like and guys I don't know about you but I feel like this will make a cute hairstyle all on its own without braiding it like I would actually stop and just rock this um, I'm just going to combine this bottom row um, and I'm going to twist until I get to this golden hair accessory and once I get there I'm going to do the exact same thing. Combine it. And then combine this here. Then take a rubber band. Okay, so I already finished this first way here. And it's actually very, very long. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But I'm going to take some of my Eco Styler, smooth that over my hair near the roots, and then I'm just going to brush it down. I'm also detangling my hair a bit as well. So I'm just going to start off with sectioning into three sections and braid normally. And once I've braided it a few times, then I'm just going to start adding hair. And make sure that you add this hair here as well. Don't forget about that. So once I'm done and I'm just at the point where I can do a regular braid without adding hair, I'm just going to brush to smooth this hair out so that I can have a really smooth braid. And then next, I'm going to take my free tress crochet hair and deep twist, and this is 22 inches. And I'm going to add that to the two outer pieces. This piece here, and this piece here, and then we have the piece in the middle, and I just added it right at the midpoint. And then I'm just going to braid regularly. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and also let me know if you want more style tutorials and I can definitely do that because I highly enjoy doing this and I love the way that it turned out. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate all the love and support that you all give me every day. It means so much to me and I just want to let you know that you are greatly appreciated. So I hope you have an amazing day and thank you again for watching. Bye.